everybody, we are back now for episode 2 of Guardians of the Galaxy here now and everything. Uh, so, we are going to go ahead and we're going to get right into it, but um, if you do want to see what happened last time, you can either stick around and see the recap here for this one, because all the Telltale series do do recaps of what happened in the last episode. But if you do definitely want to go ahead and see what happened last time and you want to watch that episode for uh, Tangled in Blue, episode 1 of this... Um, definitely go check it out. I will actually leave a link down in the description below if you want to check that out But you should also just be able to go ahead and find it right on my page and everything uh, So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into it here, and I hope you guys enjoy it All right, let's see we're going to episode two And it is loading right now. Just remember, they have the cassette processor. See, previously on. Smile, you son of a... Yeah, that was got fucked up real good right there. You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge! What is your problem, Quill? We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? I keep thinking about Nebula. Your crazy cyborg sister. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Yeah, she's probably not gonna be happy about that. Yeah, well, what she doesn't know won't come back to stab us. <laughs> or behead you. Look, just leave her alone. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body? She sounds about as crazy as him. <gasps> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. With money, you can repay I anything. will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. And instantly fucked in the chest. Yeah, that's Come gotta fucking me, hurt. <gasps> Holy shit. And it looks like it's picking right back up where it left off last time. After he came back to life. Because he was dead. He, by all means, he was. Shit. Wow! No! What no, is no, this no, dark no. sorcery? Black yeah. foul demon! Uh, I am Whoa, brute. hey! This is not normal! <laughs> Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity. Guys, it's me. It's Peter Lord. Peter I, uh, <laughs> Starquill. Starquill? Uh, I mean, Peter! Uh, I thought you were... You can call yeah. me Lord so, Quill. Uh, I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. Yeah, How do we know yeah, you are really Peter freaky. Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect to do? Oh, come on. This. Who else could master these sick moves? Stop 
Stop doing that with your pelvis. What? This? Mm, that is most disturbing. <laughs> okay. Great. Everybody calm now? Huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't you? Okay, Rocket, you just... Think you think I'll get superpowers? superpowers? Heat vision? Invisibility? Ooh, maybe I'll be able to pass through walls. If that's the case, then we're all doomed. <laughs> you don't want to take this seriously, then fine. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. <laughs> Why not? Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Oh, uh, easy, Quill. That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. This will teach you to wear seat belts on my ship. Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> what does he throw up? Splendors? And going down. I think we lost her. This hollow lady's relentless. Why she want this eternity thing so bad? She had many dead Kree on her ship. We found their stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hala's sure hands, that's limited. bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then bringing her back, back to, to life. life. And then and killing, killing her, her again. again. And then bringing her back to life, and then killing her again, and then bringing her back to life, and then... We get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. Yeah, this thing went so well last time. And we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hala will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landed. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. See, that's a good start off. See, I like games that pick right back up from where they left off. I mean, given it's... Ne wait, Neon District? Is that where the Collector lives? I feel like I should Google this. I don't think it is. Episode 2. Under Pressure. Are we? I don't like being out in the open with Hala on our trail. Let me do the talking. Hmm, uh... Peak. Because that doesn't sound creepy at all. Quill? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. <laughs> My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. And this is why you never loan stuff to people. <laughs> Haven't seen you since you left me in the ravages. I hear you're a real hero now. Been helping out them Nova Corp boys. You think I'm letting you in now? You've lost the other half of your mind. <sighs> never thought you'd turn into a spineless, role-following space cop yourself. Well, you did raise hey, me, technically. You so. practically raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens <laughs> to me. 
The least you can do is let me know. Now you have to help me. Is nothing. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Uh, of course. Make yourself right at home. Oh. <laughs> well now. I thought it was just you, Quill. You just brought Not the whole your fucking party in. Playmates. Hey, hey! No plants on the roof. These guys are my family. Yeah, I do. Great. Okay. Quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. Well, oh, damn. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. My. A warrior must <laughs> eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can <laughs> talk. Okay, put the arrow away. We all put know what that can do. Your pants, man. Look, Rocket's just a little sensitive because everyone's been trying to kill us lately. Well, it's true. You can add me to the list. Oh, these two motherfuckers know face. each other. Of course they do. The <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got these anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Oh, oh, before you get too attached, you should know the Kree are after it. They're willing to kill for it too. Oh, I was just it's having true. a bit of fun. They killed me. Cause I'd rather have the Kree after your hide than mine. Let me see that thing. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping so back this from is the same memory from the last episode. They actually are. But these last few months haven't been easy for either of us. But um, I'm not always going to be here. So why is this triggering it again? When I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Uh, why am I here again? I, I already saw this. Maybe you didn't see all of it. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Um... Okay. Stop it! Stop messing with So do you think because head. it's a memory inside the Eternity Forge no that way. the memory is aware? You. Hmm. Every time I look up there... I find something new. Something I overlooked. That's gotta be the case, right? I mean, it's gotta be like a self-aware memory. Because this is the memory that we saw in the last episode. But now that it's given me the chance to interact with the memory, it's like the memory is self-conscious that it knows that it's a memory and it's not actually happening. Just based on that response that I got alone is even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. Yeah. Sure. Of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look... That's, uh... That's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. Hmm. 
And now stars are disappearing out of the sky. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. The closest thing you were ever going to get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. Hmm. And now more are appearing. Yep, oh, oh, there it is. That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. Looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing. It wasn't there before. What? What does it say? Mom? Come find hmm. me, Peter. So it seems like whatever is inside of the Eternity Forge, because it was responding as if it was self-aware that it was a memory, maybe it's not being self-aware that it was a memory, but maybe it's an entity that is within the Eternity Forge. Who knows? It's, I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like, because it keeps telling Peter Quill to come find it, or Star-Lord, however you want to call him, to come find him, but it's playing on a memory of his mom, which he would do anything to get his mother. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special tree. <laughs> Peter? About, don't talk about my mom that way. Ever hit on my dead mom. I meant no disrespect toward your mom. We were friends. That's it. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't okay. make myself think. Where have you seen these symbols before? It was a long time ago. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Maybe, but yeah, she also right wants to murder she cuts all of us. All our heads and takes yeah. a forge for herself. Yeah, exactly. And who Thank do you, you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated, and that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. Nah, I'm up for a You know, good. ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to fight a cyborg. I mean, guess dreams do come true. <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but we might not have to fight her. Oh, you're no fun. Maybe <laughs> and I haven't spoken in some time. But I'm sure I can track her down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. Of course he does. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. Well, that's just rude as fuck, Drax. Enough with the snacks! Would you be any more useless right now? Is 
Besides, how many snacks are in that fucking box anyway? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Well, obviously, we know he's thought about it. My mom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't know a lot about me. But before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to Half-World, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. Now let's see, favorite. there's the decision. I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. Okay. So going to Nebula first and having to fight her and possibly detain her, whatever the case may be, because we know she wants to kill us so she ain't gonna come willingly. Let's all be real about that. That would be the logical move. But Rocket's willing to open up. I mean, yes, it kind of sounds like it's for his own purposes, but how often does a little rodent actually open up? <sighs> okay, if we're going to play it smart, we also need to know more about it, unfortunately, first. Eh, fuck it, I'm going to help Rocket. This person means that much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! Okay. It slipped. Uh. Let's get going. All right, let's get going here. Sue Half World now to uh, try and help Rocket's friend be ungone. That should do. be interesting. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading to a remote Nova Corps outpost. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll that kill That sucks for the Nova Corps. That sounds like a good option, but... Once she has Thanos... I already made a promise made to a Rocket, promise so we're gonna stick to with it. They're just gonna have to wait. Forget your promise. We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to half work. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's so more get to come important. To the when it's a matter game. of civilian lives, yes, I do. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stick with it. Blaze forward. We're going to Half World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Gamora is probably going to kill Peter, me in my sleep for this. But Nebula. Good luck translating the forge without my sister. Okay. So I'm not really going to worry about checking off everybody right now. Coast looks clear. 
Is there a way to run this? Oh, yes! Rocket must have got it working again. Now, guys, I can't play all the, uh, good music that are usually played, like, in the movies and everything like that. So trust me, it's awesome music. I just had to go with the, uh, regular music for copyright purposes. You know, so I wouldn't get knocked when I put this video up and everything. <laughs> Yeah, because I can't have that. That that would just suck horribly. Come on. Don't die on me. Need some help with that? No. No, it's fine. Just shorts out every now and then. Ah, ah, crap. I think I got something in the engine room to fix this. You want to talk? I'll be down there. Okay. I actually wanted to go to the engine room real quick. Anyways, just check it out. Maybe we can get Rocket to open up a little bit more about what's on Half World. Oh, I mean, other than the friend being ungone. Hey, how's my favorite tree? I am Groot. One of these days, you and I are going to be able to have a conversation. I am Groot. There's not a learn to speak Groot class I can take, is there? I am Groot. I'll take it that means no. Well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. Hey, Rocket. Hi, Quill. I'll leave you alone. Later, Quill. Oh, okay, that was quick. Let's just get back up there and we're gonna get going. As soon as it loads, wow. It takes so long to load between cutscenes sometimes. Like, even just a transition scene. Ugh. Jesus. Stuck on everything. Alright, let's get up to the bridge. Touch that. I gave you this ship. Or at least I think it did. <laughs> you barely recognize it now. Look at all this crap you added to it. Let's see. Uh bridge console, maybe we can still warn them. Because you now there was options to call. Novacorp. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy. You need to secure Thanos' body and prepare your crew for an attack. His daughter Nebula is heading your way. Um, and she's gonna <laughs> fuck up your shit more than you, Star Lord. Oh, okay, of course. Right away. Thank you so much for the warning, sir. I just, uh, it, it, it means a lot. Okay. I'm hanging up now. Okay. doesn't let you call again <laughs> okay let's travel to half world now heads up everyone we're going to half world later Quinn. don't be a stranger 
and take care of the Milano. She's a ship, not a trash can. It's always fun seeing you, Yandu. <laughs> it has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. <laughs> Bye, Gamon. What'd he take? It wouldn't surprise me if he stole something. Paula has found us. And this is what we call great timing. So let's check it out. Half world. What is this place? <laughs> Home. I haven't been back here since... Rocket, I need you to tell me what we're doing here. Who are you trying to resurrect? Lila. Come on. Because it doesn't look like a creepy place at all. Rocket, let me... Let me help you. Don't touch her! Well, damn. The subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial vertebrae. I'm gonna assume this is how Rocket Raccoon was made? Because, I mean, if it's showing everybody else their past, then it would make sense. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Looks like it's showing everybody their past in the virtual state. On you. Rocket, you okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. I'll be yeah, fine. I'll be fine. It's no worse than usual. It hurts a little less each time. So, did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable hmm. blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. I won't let you down, Lila. I know. Catch! Nice. You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. So Racket Raccoon hey. was, uh... Moment of truth. In love with an Go otter. ahead and hook it up to the underside. This would be some interesting Stupid babies. Piece of junk. You know your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? It's cute. <laughs> oh yeah? You're cute. I meant that as an insult. I'm so offended. 
<laughs> Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? It looks like a rabid freaking animal <laughs> like that. Alright, cut that over. Now, all I need is a display and we're in business. Just sync it to the facility's network. I keep having that dream. Still? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, bright. Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. Oh, that's it not felt good. so real. I can barely remember. Uh, it's we've got to so get out of here. Long. We gotta focus, Lila. We have to get out of here now. You're right. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. From there, we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. Going wherever you're going, lady. We'll find home somewhere. Hide it quick. Subject eighty nine P fourteen. Still no progress. Begin prepping lethal injection. I can't. You got claws, don't you? Well, that idiot thinks we're nothing but a bunch of animals. Let's show him how right he can be. Rocket, I... Lila! Lila! Gotta move. <laughs> God damn, they got all types of sight right now to get hands on the What are you doing? Come on. <sighs> Lethal injection. No. Thought maybe I'd make it. Slower than I thought. Are you sure they got you? Maybe it's just a scratch or something. I was there, Rocket. I know what it is. There you are. Yeah. Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. I can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. Uh, no, no, no you're your not dying. Behind. Of course not. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. 
Survive, Rocket! And open the Go. doors right back up. You need to get out now. I'm not asking you again. If you're gonna run, run. Come on, we're getting out of here, both of us. Rocket, please. I've got you. <laughs> run those little raccoon ranks. Oh shit. Run, 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 run. This is me. This is me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will stay open, Mr. Door. <laughs> I barely made it by the hairs on my chin, chin, chin. Some sad shit. I can completely see why Rocket Raccoon is a fucking asshole now. Kind of has every right to be. And if y'all hear meowing right now, that is my cat. She's meowing at me because I am not in bed yet. What just. You had no right to see that. Those are my memories, not yours. Look, hey, listen. I'm sorry. Little late for that. Well, I still mean it. It didn't even work! How could it not work? Come on. I really wanted it to work too, Rocket. You got to come back. She's the one who's still... Damn. Just take it. I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Well, that's cool. I mean, I like that we get to... I mean, it's sad as fuck, but I like that we get to see Rocket Dory. Uh, me, personally, I didn't really know much about his backstory before. Now, I'm not sure how accurate all of that is. Now, if any of y'all know a little bit more, just go ahead and put it down in the comments below and let me know. Thanks. For, you know, going with me. I know you had other things to do. Anytime, Rocket. What are friends for? <laughs> Rocket Raccoon will remember that. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. Good. Where are you gonna go? You're back. Looks like Nebula started tearing up the Novacore outpost. Hopefully we can still catch her.
Alright, well, let's get over there then. Is Drax just always up here? <coughs> Ugh. Hey, everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Nova Corps outpost to intercept Nebula. They're already getting All fucked pilots, up. Fall back and engage the fugitive. But sir, we'll lose the body. That is not our priority now. Engage Nebula immediately. Oh, I knew this would happen. We should have come right away. She's already got Thanos' body. We can't lose her too. <laughs> Rocket was my priority. Rocket was my priority. He needed me. I needed you too, Peter. Star Lord, thank you for coming to our aid. <laughs> well, we were hoping you'd show up a little earlier. Hey, what's going on? I warned you that Nebula was on her way. I, I know. We secured the body, like you said, but she snuck in using a stolen ship of ours. We were overwhelmed. Don't you, like, she mark that ship as body, flagged? We can still take her down. Oh, flag that ship is stolen? Weapons loaded. Lethal force has been sanctioned. Get into position. We can't just blast her out of the sky. We need her alive. Otherwise, we've got no chance of translating the Eternity Forge. Ready? On my orders. Hey, uh, whatever your name is. Rooks, sir. You can call me Rooks. If you want. It's kind of a nickname. <laughs> just, Great. uh, Listen, don't shoot Rooks, I'm gonna need you and your guys to stand down. What? Don't shoot the cyborg, Rooks. <laughs> Uh, hilarious, sir. <laughs> I always heard you were a jokester. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fire when ready. Okay. When words don't work, there's always firepower. There's one. And two. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, what are you doing? Stopping you. <laughs> Guardians, fall back. If you do not follow orders, we will be forced to return fire. No! Star-Lord, we have to follow protocol. Please listen to him. Nova officers, form a blockade. Peter Quill, by order of the Nova Corps, you will stand down and submit. Bit to capture. Star Lord, Nebula is a wanted fugitive, the biggest threat to the galaxy now that Thanos is dead. She's guilty of multiple crimes. We well, have no shit, so are a lot of people to eliminate her immediately. We can't afford to be lenient here. It's too risky. Not if you leave her in our custody. Killing her isn't the only option. Look. Nebula is important to us. She's got something we need, and we need her alive to save the galaxy. But, sir... You want to see the galaxy destroyed? N no, sir, I don't. <laughs> which is why I have to do this. <sighs> I tried. Officer Rooks, signing off. I hope we can still be friends, and... I think that went well. <laughs> All right, time to take out the ships. Just side swipe and attempt. smack their ships. Peter Quill, I wasn't expecting you to show your face. Couldn't let the Nova Corps claim your glory. You had to kill me yourself. You brought this upon yourself. 
So you think. Oh, come on. It's about time you just gave up, Nebula. Look, we won. You <laughs> lost. I haven't lost. As long as I breathe, I will continue to fight. We'll use force if we have to. Look, we need your help. You have to come with us. I will never help you. Oh, you just had to make this difficult. Of course. Disabling her engines. Oh, come on, field's too dense. I can't get a clear shot. We'll have to force her out. Okay. Big rock, got it. Take the controls. I'm going in to grab Nebula. Star Lord mode. She may be incapacitated, but she's still dangerous. Well, yeah, she's a fucking cyborg, so. Peter, her ship is drifting into the planet's gravity field. You need to hurry. Knock, knock. Go away. <laughs> I refuse to accept your help or your pity. I'd rather die here. I failed, Father. Again. Leave me here. I'm not leaving you behind, Nebula. I don't care how much you hate me. You just want to play out your little Guardian's fantasy. Be the hero. Peter? Your sister's being difficult, Gamora. She's throwing herself a real pity party. There's gotta be an emergency release on here somewhere. Oh. Huh, maybe right in front of me? And goodbye to your arm. <sighs> and away we go. Unless they got caught in the gravitational field, on which case would suck. And they'd be toasty like the ship down there. Do, 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 do. That's the last of it. She has a lot I of I don't knives. like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. We have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dude guy. Because I don't think We're he's really dead. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Well, yeah, no shit. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Good thing she's unarmed. Am I right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh! <laughs> Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. Hey, no need for violence here. We can barter with her. Nebula wants her arm back, so let's use that to our advantage. I do not like this plan. Of course you don't, Drax. Because you don't get to destroy things. You 
okay to go in there? I... I can't even begin to process everything. I thought I could distance myself. You told me to distance myself. And now Nebula's locked up in my bedroom? <sighs> the irony doesn't escape me. <gasps> Those are some fancy looking handcuffs, though. So, here's the deal, Nebula. You've got a bit of a missing arm problem, and I've got a way to fix that. So, you interested in a trade? I'm listening. Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That... that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I, don't I know. was hoping you would know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. <laughs> we'll fix your arm. I'm serious about this. Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. No, actually I do. If you help she me, I help you. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Get over it already! He's dead, all right? That's where we are. You don't just get over the death of a father! He was not the man you thought he was, Nebula. He saw us as pets. We were useful. If he loved us at all, it was in the way someone loves an animal. You're lying! You pass judgment on me. On my father. But I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval. I'll Tarval. get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her. Don't be ridiculous, Nebula. I have nothing to say to you. Gamora? You need to leave. Before you what? chop her goddamn head now. off. If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. Okay, I don't care about her. I did what you, you asked. Now? You owe me now. I said I would talk. You've done one decent act for me, out of several despicable acts. I'm not keen on granting you any favors. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days, they've been the worst of my life. I lose my father, then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. I'm not trying to hurt you, Nebula. Not really trying Doesn't to. Matter, you just it? want your help. You still did. But maybe there's a way to fix that. Oh, God. No. What are you, what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here. It'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. Yeah, I mean, it's the nice thing to do is thank her. I told myself I no, wasn't she's a going psychotic, to murdering cyborg. Anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. You two clearly have some issues you need to yeah, work Yeah, just a lot of bits. I thought you wanted me to stay away from her. But as long as she's on the ship, I guess you have a point. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing... Is we got the uh, the Kree thingy, so oh, that is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right. So how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. And Kitty is back. Ah, my cat tried to bite me. <laughs> Okay, it says, come find me in the temple. Helpful. Oh, no. Did we find it in a temple? 
My mom said the same thing when I died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Novacore bodies that Thanos put there. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Yeah, exactly, because exactly, they're a little bit creepy. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. We should give Rocket some space. Okay, let him be for now. Fine. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. Drax is good at a lot of things, but guarding people is not one of them. You took him to Hollis' ship, and he let you die. His health has improved greatly since then. <laughs> you heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. She's my sister, Drax. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes, I'll guard her. No! You cannot be serious. Let his voice like in this. Computer Let Hollis like stab you, Peter, right in the chest. No offense, Drax, but I'm the right person to guard my sister. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Mm, I'm Gamora, gonna go I need you to stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. You'll be able to tell if she's gonna make a move. Absolutely. You are both foolish. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. I am Groot. Fucking Groot. Find me. In the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. Hmm. Not sure. But I'm gonna go with something that we probably shouldn't find to begin with. Oh god, can I please skip this elevator ride? I, uh... <laughs> I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, Find me in the temple. So, here we are. In a temple. In temple. Again. Again. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> yeah, because it's totally that easy. As is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. You've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? We look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. she doing here? Star Lord, it's Hala. Oh my God! And tackled. Oh God! Why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope. <laughs> Look. Where did they go? They went up. And go up.
punishing them at the same time. Hey, Drax, you see that statue? Press the Obviously button on we his need helmet help when buttons. I say so, okay? You okay? Okay. One, two, three. What happened? You went early. No, I didn't. One, two, three, go. I was waiting for the go. Oh, fine. <laughs> One, two, three, go. And it's Christmas. Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. And those souls are being absorbed by it. Yep. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. So why did it work for him, though? Well, these footprints are fresh. They weren't here when we fought Thanos. was here too the image of the forge push the button look at this all right uh screw it here use the relic is where Hala failed no Eternity Forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Oh. And magical glows. What does it say? Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's Cypher was worth all the trouble. The Eternity Forge resides right here. here. Pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. So Who is this she? is not the correct temple. We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called Emnios. These symbols are a star map. <laughs> I know how to get there. Gamora. Peter. Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find them. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, I know y'all just saw my cat walk Rockets down the engine room. <laughs> He's uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk New to and him. creative curse words. That's always fun. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get over there and see what new creative curse words he's using. I know you miss Lila. It's okay. <laughs> Damn. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'll go get Groot now. Uh, talk. Hey, 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 hey. What's what's going on? Talk to me. I didn't. Uh... Didn't want you to uh, to see. She's gone. And she was the only thing keeping me alive. Yeah. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't. You loved her, didn't you? 
Yeah, I did. I never told her, though. I thought I had time. I thought if I could just get her out of there, she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could. She's always going to be with you, Rocket. You haven't lost her. But it's gone. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. You should hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. That's true. <laughs> going on get the eternity forge keep it safe go help rocket what are you gonna do it's time to go dance that's probably Hala and her damn people again I don't remember inviting you two Oh, that's right. There's no air in space. Oops. <sighs> that is definitely one way to take care of it. Wait! Let me fight. No, you bitch, tracked I'm not me on this piece go. of junk, and now we're surrounded by pissed off Cree. I don't want to die here, and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me, too. Sorry. I can't take that chance. You're making a mistake. Maybe. I told but you I'd give not. your arm back, not let you go right away. Heads up! These are some invisible enemies. Cowards! Well now. Tracks, you okay? Tracks! I'd say he's not okay. the fuck out. Gamora! About time you showed up. Here! This one's yours! As she's fighting two people. <laughs> Gotta move now. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, time to fly, maybe. And that is the engine room shutting down. Rocket. I'll keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back up. I am Root. Right. Engine room. Door open. Rocket! Ah! 
This invisible motherfucker. You think you could possibly win against the Kree? Not when you can turn invisible. Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just, just stop. I really don't care. How dare <laughs> you speak to me like that? How dare I? <laughs> you come on my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will. Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth ass. And whatever he's hey doing guy. is probably good. What's it like area. being on fire? Ah! That bad, huh? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. I don't know. I run pretty fast. <laughs> I think I'll take my chances. I've given you many, and you have wasted each one. Well, you did stab me through the uh, through the torso, so. Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emnios. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. Good luck breathing in space, comrade. So this is Imneos, a fucking rock in the middle of space. Is everything okay? A little bit of bad blood there? Whatever you say. Okay. <clears throat> I think your mom is really down there. I hope she we can is. be hopeful. I hope I'll get to see her again. Talk to her. Just one more minute. You'd do almost anything to get that. I mean, if you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? Come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, it's true. no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? <laughs> this is it. Peter has a plan. Nope, not at all. <laughs> you dare have a plan, right? I Just know trust doing, me. Guys. I got this. Trust me. Can't argue with that. And of course, everything starts lighting up. I think we're in the right spot then. Don't go into the light, Star Lord. Peter, look. And 
looks like he saw a fucking ghost. And of course, that's where episode two would end. Just right when they start to kick it up a little bit. Okay, let's see. You and 62.3% players prioritized Rocket's personal journey. Okay. Of course. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's the smarter decision to put her in place. I still kind of wonder what would happen if we hadn't put her in place. Well, 13% of you motherfuckers are just cruel, aren't you? Trusting the prisoner? God, no. So, you're telling me 81.9% of people that it was a good idea to release the psychotic killing cyborg? And 0.5 of you were just like, nah, fuck this bitch, I'm gonna ignore her. <laughs> she deserves no answer. <laughs> So the last one was really the only one. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen next time on the uh, on episode three. It just yeah, I moved it so y'all can see over there. We were at the races or at each other's are. throats over it. I am Groot. I Planet am X. Groot. Flora Colossus. I am Groot. I really wish they would provide more subtitles. You ever play that game subtitles. Monkey in the Middle? No? Well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. They toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> man. I was that turd. Oh, Peter just... He's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge asshole. Sorry, it drives me crazy. I don't think I was really prepared for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared at all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back, and that was that. <laughs> Wild. Worried? Hell, I've never been happier in my life. I feel like these are celebrity well, interviews at the end of every game. They like, fell into a dark hole. <laughs> this real is what happens dark. off camera, guys. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found, guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. It's so dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. Nebula had so much anger. It was hard to see how we'd ever get past it. I wish it had happened differently. So what, did you fucking kill her? I it? really do. Real, real, real dark. <laughs> Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I, I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed us. Oh, yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that Learn to power. make pancakes properly. Ever. Everybody looking at you. Thing about responsibility. It sucks. It's a race. Like He's a not lot. a race. He's a fucking raccoon. Real, real, real. Centaurian. Dark. dark man. You know. Still fun though. <laughs> Yandu's a crazy fuck. All right, guys. That was episode two of Guardians of the Galaxy.
I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing this one. I know all these Let's Plays are really, really, really long and everything like that. Uh, but they're good, and if you've stuck through them till the end, thank you. And again, if you're also new here and you like seeing these, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon as well, and go ahead and stick around. Alright guys, I gotta get out of here, and I gotta get some sleep. Because, you know, I have work and shit tomorrow. You know, stuff that pays the bills. Alright guys, I'm gonna get on out of here, and I'll talk to you later. Till next time, bye.